What's going on, ShoeTube, to the family out there? Today, we have a one-handed unboxing, okay? A one-handed unboxing, world famous, all right? Hey, and special shout out to subscriber 192. I told y'all I get the email notifications when you guys subscribe. Shout out to Lucky 192, and that person is Richard Chu, C-H-E-W, Richard Chu. So Richard Chu, Welcome to the family, man. Welcome to the to the shoe tube uh, community that is uh, Jamin. <laughs> I guess you know all these people have these cool names, um, but me, uh, you know, for all of you that are kind of new uh, to my channel, I just give it to you all, man. I am who I am. Uh, you know, everybody else is too. Not to say that they're not, but you're not going to see. Let me tell you what you're not going to see on this channel. You're not going to see uh, a lot of going back and forth. Because uh, I've noticed that on a lot of sneaker YouTube channels lately. You're not going to see a lot of, uh, you know, uh, back and forth jibber jabber. None of that kind of stuff, if you will. Uh, we're about shoes on this channel only. And we're going to keep it about shoes. Uh, you have a right to your opinion on this channel. Nobody's going to hate on you for your opinion, including myself. I can disagree with it. You can disagree with mine, and that's okay. That's what we're going to do. Uh, sometimes I will have a couple of beers on this channel. And that's how it is. That's who I am. Today, however, I'm having a high C fruit punch um, because I like high C fruit punch. But anyway, shout out to Richard Chu, 192. Hey, guys, we're eight subs away from 200. That's a milestone for me. So y'all help me get there. But without further ado, let's, let's show everybody how we do the one-handed unboxing right here. Well, let's not show everybody that, that address. If I, if I did, I'm going to have to edit it out. But let's get into this guy right here. Bam. There's one. And as you can see, this did come from Nike, which you can tell by the tape anyway, but um, sneakers app hit. I do have eight unboxings to do. I have eight unboxings to do. So if you haven't subbed yet, you might want to do so because I have a lot more content coming, uh, maybe even today. Um, just depends on how the day goes. So I don't know what's in this box. Um, because I do have a lot of shoes to open. I don't even remember what, what the hell I've hit on, to be honest with you. So let's take a look together. Okay, so right off the rip, oh, speaking of the rip, we still got a piece of tape down there that didn't get through. We have a Jordan 1 box. You can tell by the boxes this is a Jordan 1. So I think I know what this is because I didn't get any other Jordan 1s. I think I know what this is right here. Let's get this box out of the way here. All right, so Jordan 1, assuming this is, could be a low or it could be a high because I've hit on both. Let's spin it around and check it out. You have the Jordan Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Yep, I know what this is. White, black, electro orange in a size 12. Um, I found that size 12s, I usually do 11 and a half, but I've been getting size 12s lately. They fit me a little bit more loose. Not loose enough to where they come off my foot, but not as snug either. So I've kind of been flip-flopping back and forth. Um, but anyway, uh, so, uh, retail on these guys is 170 This is the Electro Oranges, and I think they came out last Saturday. So maybe one week ago today, these released. Um, taking the lid off. Let's see what we have inside here. Uh, you do have, there's the batch code right there on the box. All right, let's take a look at it. A lot of people have been talking about the laces on these. Uh, you get either get the uh, the train, like the circular laces, it looks kind of like a hurricane, or you get the kind of the dunk laces, it's kind of spiraled up and tied together. Um, let's see which which I get. Y'all just saw it came straight from Nike. Um, so let's see what I got. And wow, right there off the bat, there's what I got. I received the the you know kind of SB looking laces uh, tied up that way. Wow, look at the Look at the leather quality on this. Jeez, guys. Um, is this, is everybody's leather quality like that? I mean, that's nice. I can smell it too. Look at that leather quality. Wow, super nice. Hey, let's do this. Let's get both of them out of the box as usual, and then we'll take a quick look and a review. And I'm even going to, you know what I'm going to do for you guys? I'm going to do a lace swap too. We're going to lace them up with each colored lace to see which ones we like the best. So let me take them out. Be right back. 
All right, you guys. So here they go. The Air Jordan, and this this shoe is very controversial. We'll talk about that in a minute too. But this is it. The Air Jordan One uh, Electro Orange. Hashtag. Ooh, and dare I say it, and, and piss a lot of the shoe tubers off out there. But the Shattered Backboard 4.0. <gasps> Did I just say that? Oh no, they're gonna they're gonna destroy me for saying that on YouTube. Um, with me guys, here's the thing about the whole shattered backboard controversy and is this one, is this not one? I don't care what you call it. You can call it whatever you want to. You can call it the Electro Oranges. You can call it the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 4.0. You can call it, you know, the Black Toe Orange. I mean, I don't care what you call it. Um, because you do you, I'll do me, and we'll be fine like that, right? But anyway, let's get to the review. That's just my thoughts on the whole situation. Everybody's tripping out about that, about what to call the shoe. I mean, damn, don't we have other things that we can talk about? Um, the left, look at the, even on the heel right here. Like, you typically don't see this kind of leather. This is really, really good quality leather, guys. Um, but your bottom right here, your outsole, you do have the Jordan 1. Just a standard one outsole. It is in that electro orange. I like the way that pops. I do love, this is going to be a personal pair. I'm not going to flip these uh, because I do love the colorway of the orange, black, and the white uh, on, on any Jordan. So with your midsole here, you have a white midsole with white stitching going all the way around. Okay, the shoe. There's your medial side just so you guys can look at the, look at the leather. I don't know if I've well the U, the the UNC ones were had great leather on them, but these guys right here. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at the toe box real quick. Let me pull the the shoe tree out from inside. Let's see what that leather's like. So the toe box leather is it's not bad. I mean, it's not as I don't think it's as good as this leather right here on the on the side panels, but you know it's standard Jordan One leather. Um, could be better. You know what I mean? Could be better. But you have the black leather right there. You have the white toe box with the perforations. Does come with your uh, black laces right here. Getting to your, uh, this is your needle. Let's turn it back this way. You have this white leather. A lot of people were turned off because they wanted this to be black as well. The heel right here, they were kind of cut off by the, uh, or turned off by the, uh, the, the color blocking. Or either orange, you know, they could have did orange back here too. Me personally, I think this is different. I think Jordan Brand tried something different. I kind of like it, to be honest with you. Looks pretty clean. Um, up top, you do have your Wings logo. I just can't get over this leather quality on this thing. Man, this leather is, is what does Mike Rich say, buttery? I don't even have to fake my accent. I just say it that way. Um, and then you have that metallic gold, what they call in the electro orange up top and peeking through right here. I like that. It looks good. I'm really, really stoked about this shoe, y'all. Uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know I have the, uh, dare I say it, Shattered Backboard 3.0 and the Shattered Backboard uh, Jordan 1 Low. I, that's what I call it. I don't care if, if it's not or if it is or whatever. That's just what I call it. And I will call these Shattered Backboards if I want to. Um, and I'll just do that. I'm not going to walk around and say, oh, I've got the Jordan 1 Electro Oranges or Le whatever. I'll just say I've got – I'll say whatever the hell I want to say. Um, it's frustrating to me when I'm watching the YouTubers that I actually like and they're all bickering back and forth about what to call this shoe. It's just frustrating. I mean, it's a shoe. And on the inside, you got Nike Air right there. And to be honest with you, if you look at that, that's a different kind of uh, insole um, as far as the branding goes because you have the Nike Air. Sorry, I don't know if it's focusing good on that. My, my light's catching it. Yeah, it is. I think it is. Um, but you have what looks like around it, there's a rectangle, which isn't, I haven't seen that in too many Jordan 1s. And even on the inside of the rectangle, it looks like you have some lines going around it that resemble, to me, a backboard. I don't, can y'all see that? There it is. That resembles, to me, a backboard. Why is that not in all Nikes? Now, I know the original Shattered Backboards had the Shattered Backboard insole, but is that a backboard? I mean, it kind of looks like one. I don't know. The jury's out on that one, right? But anyway, like I said, I'm going to do a lace swap. Y'all already see what it looks like with the black laces, right? Because I'm not going I'm not going to do these. I mean, the black's going to look like the black. You can check stock photos and things like that to see what the black looks like in them. Let's go ahead and and uh, let me edit the video a little bit and show y'all, which I tip. That's something else, guys, that are new. I don't edit my videos too much. You, I'm real. You get what you get. Um, I may throw a few edits in here and there if my address pops up on something when I'm watching the video back. But other than that, 
you're just going to get me real all my stuttering all my ums all my uhs all my <clears throat> all that kind of good stuff like that um you're going to catch it because uh, i want us to be uh in the video talking like we're talking in person right all right so let's go ahead and get these bad the bad blah, blah, blah. see i'm not editing that out either let's go ahead and get these laces off right here and throw them in and see what they look like be right back. all right so we are back and we now have the lace swap but before we go into that let me show you guys my pride and joys right here the shattered backboard 3.0s a lot of people hated on this shoe when it came out man called it trash bag greasy looking nikes whatever because of this patent this crinkly patent leather which i absolutely love i like things that are out there anyway but yeah a lot of people was hating on this shoe when it came out y'all see i got the orange laces in there gotta have the orange laces you will see I've, I've worn these quite a bit as well but everybody was hating on these and now they're worth 530 dollars is what they're going for dead stock 530 dollars so i bet people aren't hating on them anymore um so yeah that just goes to show that even the most hated on jordans uh go for a lot of money but anyway this ain't a review on the 3.0s and y'all are tripping some of y'all's tripping right now that's not a shutter backboard okay whatever um let's get into the to the 4.0s <laughs> the electro oranges bam there they are with the lace swap guys so as you can see let's take a look at the orange first i really like the way that that orange lace right there pops off of this top orange and kind of that mid that uh outsole coming up onto the midsole look i, I still can't get over this leather quality guys if y'all get these y'all let me know what your leather quality was like Oh, I forgot, y'all can't buy these until you watch my video. That's another thing, right? Don't buy these before you watch the video. That's something else you'll never see on this channel. I'll never put that in the title of one of my videos. But, uh, yeah, so that's the that's the orange right there. I really, really dig the orange, just like I had my 3.0s. And here's the white. The white's clean, too, man. The white gives it that pop coming off of that black, off your black uh, eyelets right there. So yeah, the white looks really good too. And then of course you had your black that was in it already. But I think y'all know what I'm gonna go with. I gotta go with the orange, man. I got to go with the orange. I love Halloween. That's why I love these this color blocking right here. Jeez, man, these these things these have these have impressed me, y'all. These are gonna get. I'm sorry to say it, but these are gonna get a ten out of ten. Well, no, I'm going to knock it down a nine and a half out of ten because this, this toe box leather, if this toe box leather was like this leather here, then uh, this would be easily a ten out of ten. But there you have it, man, the electro orange, you know, the uh, electro orange and the, um, there's a little pop of the uh, old 3.0s that came out in 2019. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and sub to the channel. We're eight people away from 200. Let's grow this channel. We're, we're a cool sneaker, uh, sneaker community over here. We have friends from all over the world, from Germany, from, uh, from the UK, um, from Denmark, from Switzerland, from Canada, all the way down to Mexico, Brazil. We got friends in Brazil. So yeah, man, we're going worldwide with this channel. One-handed unboxing. Hey, man, it's Jamin. Y'all enjoy your Saturday. And until next time, y'all take care. Be safe out there.